our aim was to analyze where bees forage, which is where they eat and what flowers they eat, in August 2016 and September 2017. Why are bees important? Without bees, we'd lose 70% of our crops and plants, and if we lost them, there'd be a massive gap in the food chain. With a massive gap in the food chain, most living things would become extinct. The sustainable goals, need, we have sustainable goals which need to be reached by 2030, and they are like to help save our planet. Our project links to number two, which is zero hunger, because without bees, we lose most food. And number 15, which is life on land, because the whole point of that is to make life on land enjoyable. So without bees, there wouldn't really be any life on land. So as you can see here, this is our two samples that we had from throughout the year. And um, first one here, our most popular one was trifolium. That is the middle pollen sample. And then on this one, it was brassica, that's the bottom pollen sample. So, yeah. We found out that bees that forage in September 2017 collect pollen from 12 different plants, but mainly from cabbages. And we found that bees that forage in August 2016 collect pollen from 11 different plants, but mainly red clovers. We have enjoyed lots of things over the course of our project. Um, this includes looking at pollen under the microscope, visiting the beekeepers and tasting honey. What was um, the most interesting part about your project? What did you enjoy most doing? Um, learning to identify different types of pollen. Um, being able to know like the Latin names for them, they're quite fun. Pronouncing the Latin name. <laughs> <laughs> Looking under the microscope at the different types of pollen. And getting to go to the beekeepers and seeing all the different types of like, well, bees. So it definitely sounds like you've learned quite a lot of different aspects. That's great. Any questions from the floor you want to ask? Has everyone used, all up, all, used up all of their nosiness today? Yes? Oh, we've got a question here. Right. What did you find most difficult about your project? Some of the pollen was quite similar, so it was quite hard to identify what they were. Because one of the ones we had was a brassica. We, re we found it was a brassica in the end, but at first we had no clue what it was. How, how did you collect your pollen? So we were given a like, jar of honey and we took a small sample of that, put it onto a slide and looked under a microscope to try and find which kinds of pollen were there. Did you enjoy doing your project? Uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. It was um, really fun and um, it was a great experience. So your teacher told me that you did this as part of your schoolwork, but you were so enthusiastic that you came back at lunchtimes and were chopping down our door. Is that correct? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you're allowed to admit that you're enthusiastic and interested in it. So I think we can all see how interested they were obviously in this project, which is why it was such a success. So we just say a really big well done. Congratulations. <laughs>